Hey guys, back out in the shop today. Um, today we are going to take a look at our 64 Impala frame. Uh, give you guys a close up look at that and um, we got a lot of work to do on it. It's pretty rotted out. Um, I haven't really posted the first video of this yet, um, the teardown. I'll probably post that maybe uh, in a few days or something. Um, I still got a little editing to do on it. Um, as far as uh, today, we will um, set up the tripod and pull this stuff out and uh, so we can take a walk around it. And then um, probably do a little cutting on the 64 maybe today. Um, we got a few patch panels for it, so why not get started? Let's get on it. All right, we um, got the rotisserie rolled up front here so we can operate it and kind of spin the car around a little bit and show you what we're working with a little better, a little closer. Um, this thing came in here originally for a paint job and uh, just uh, <laughs> uh, exterior paint job and I got to looking a little closer and a little closer and finally I, you know, told him, I said, hey, you know, this thing, pro it really needs a, needs to come off the frame. It's, um, it's, it's pretty rough and I don't, I don't want you to waste your money spending, you know, your hard earned money on putting a paint job on this thing when you've got all this stuff. Well, <clears throat> we didn't really even realize at that point that it was this rough, but uh, here we are. So really no looking back now. Um, it's just a few extra parts. Um, some pieces of the frame are gone. You can see there. Um, I mean, uh, the cross braces, the cross rails. Um, the um, up under here, this trunk shelf panel, it, uh, it's real rough. It's gone, it's completely through and it's been patched before. Um, the uh, frame where the frame mounts, this just spun when we tried to take it off so we had to torch it all out. Um, you can see this, the, there's, that's the mount there for one side, for the passenger side, and there it's completely gone. So this whole panel here has to be changed out, and originally it was only supposed to be this one here, this panel here, but um, you know now we know, so we're in it. We gotta do it. It needs a new cross rail here, cross, piece where the frame you mount it to the frame it's uh, it's completely gone we had to reinforce the top side just to hold it to the rotisserie because it was not going to hold was just going to rip through so we're going to try to save this one guys If you think we can do it, give us a like. Make sure you follow along. Tell your friends. Here's a look at the um, frame. It's pretty rough. Uh, yeah. You take a look here. When you step on it, it bends there at the arch right below it that should not happen there's a closer look that's all gone so we're gonna have some work cut out for us we're gonna make this all new reinforce all that um, 
we may have a buddy help us out with that um, while we're tackling the body. We've got plenty of work on that thing, a lot more than we originally anticipated. So I might have a buddy help me on this frame here. Uh, we're going to change out all the bushings and everything, clean it all up. Just completely strip it apart, pull the engine and tranny off, clean it all up, paint it all. Paint the core support, paint all this nice to match the car. Kind of clean up this bracketry a little bit. Paint things a little nicer. Uh, sand and clean up and the frame, pour 15 at all. Um, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. All right, guys, so as I expected, um, the customer supplied quarter panels uh, are just pieces. I kind of knew this, but uh, just so you got an idea, this panel here only runs up to about here on the car, just right around this arch here. So you can clearly tell that it's way further gone than that so we're gonna try to start the hunt for some full rear quarters for this car yeah you can see this one here is a little boogered up I mean, you could probably beat it out and save it but if we have to we will but obviously all this rot you know up to here is definitely gonna have to be cut out but hopefully we can find some full quarters for it um, so I guess for today, we'll just uh, finish taking off the rest of the trim and this old patch so we can get a little bit better look in there. Um, and then we will start looking at the pile of parts we got and see what we can actually start on. All right, guys, that's all we got for the intro to the Frankenstein build. Um, I wanted to keep this short and sweet, give you guys kind of a close-up of the whole car. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I actually have a video of the complete teardown of this car. I kind of time-lapsed it and put it all together. Uh, I don't really remember how long it is, maybe 15, 18 minutes. I'll try to post it up uh, maybe a few days after this here so you guys can see um, how we got to this point here where we're at. Um, if you guys think we can save this car, I know it's rough, but uh, give us a like, um, go ahead and subscribe and share, tell your friends, tell your enemies, I don't care. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, hopefully on this next one we'll actually be doing some real body work. Thanks guys.